Back a couple months ago, I made a video of them building a pool in one of my favorite places to walk. They was just starting to break ground. Then they had to wait a while till the funds came in. And as you can tell right now behind me, they started. Oh yeah, they've been at this now for a little bit more than a month. And they are kicking some serious butt. Let's go over on the other side and see if we get some more shots. I haven't been over there yet to look and see what it looks like. So you and I see it together. Well, since they're building a new pool down here, and since this is my favorite place to walk, I can't walk here that often. I'm lucky enough for the last three weeks, I was lucky enough to get a day a week. I'm going elsewhere to walk, obviously. But they are building a top-notch pool here, guys. Oh my lord, are they ever. As you can kind of see, I'm holding it above the fence line. It's a big old deep pool over there. Let's step up on this bench. Oh, there we go. Oh, heck yeah. Let me scoot over. Try not to fall and break my neck, but there we go, guys. Oh, here's a perfect view right here. Hey, we start right here and just pan slowly. There we go. Outstanding. Now, this is supposed to be a water park plus pool. They're also going to build a, a building where the bulldozers are. It's going to be top notch. Oh, heck yeah. And all the money to build this pool is all donated money every cent of it now the pool we had here before that's how it got here it was donated donated money but the pool was so old it was cracking and for the last two years the old pool hasn't been open so the town got together all the town peoples me included i donated a teeny bit of money not much not even a half a drop in a bucket for this that's right for this right here. Now, will I be using this pool? Eh, I don't know. At my age, I, I, I don't do much swimming at my age anymore, unless it's in creek beds. <laughs> and that's if I fall down. I don't know, Angie and I might. But let me tell you, the headache has been for me since they're building a pool. And by any means, guys, it's nobody's fault. I mean, this is what's gotta happen. Well, since they started the pool, they cut off half my walking area. This is the reason I can't walk down here, because you got big trucks coming in. Now, you see all the little flags? They will cross the road with that and block it off from this end. And, let's swing around. Down there by my car, down yonder, they block it off from that end. They also cut a back way into the park. That way, the big trucks come through here come through this angle and go right on up to there to get where they need to go. Now they just recently put the fence up and they put the fence up because as you can tell, let me swing around, the playground's right there. And yes, the playground is still open for children to play. Believe it or not, it is. <laughs> so they put the big fence up to keep, to make double sure the children don't get in there and get hurt. Yes, the playground, as far as I know, is still open for children to play while the construction is going on. It's just I am not able to walk my laps here at the park because this part's cut off and it's just kind of dicker things over for me. But that's okay. I have many other places I walk. As a matter of fact, the places I've been walking, one of them, I'm actually getting more of a walk out of it. Just saying. Now, right here is where they're going to cut it off at this end. They would take that right there. And they will put it right over to that fence. And this whole part of the road right here is cut off. Only for the machinery and the people working there at the pool. And did I just have the camera lopsided? My apologies if the camera is lopsided on that last shot or any shot. I am using my smaller selfie stick. And I'm still getting used to this particular smallie selfie stick. It is a homemade selfie stick my son Justin and I made. It's so when I don't have to bring out the three-footer, because I like to use that on my adventures. Well, guys, the weather did break. It is a warmer day today. Ah, warm enough, warm enough for me to walk. It's 20 degrees, 
but that wind still has a bite to it. Ooh, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping tomorrow I'll be able to do a, an adventure. I'll be able to do a hike. And you ready for this? If it doesn't rain. Guys, I've seen some really cold temperatures, boy. We all have in the Midwest. It was down below zero last night. One of the reasons this is my favorite place to walk, because this is my beauty I see every time I walk. And sometimes I get lucky enough to see the deer come across there and even the fox. So back a couple months ago, I showed you the start of it. And these guys are busting their butt. They work in cold temperatures. They work in the rain. They work in the snow. They don't seem to work on weekends, which most construction outfits don't. And they do take the holidays off. That's how I was able to walk here the past couple of weeks. I was able to walk here Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, and New Year's Day, and New Year's Eve. And I'm actually lucky enough to walk it today. The reason they have it open on the weekends because the building behind me right here and the building right over yonder behind me when we swing around has wedding receptions and this is how this town makes its money so they have to open it up on the weekends and plus I don't think construction outfits work on the weekends I don't know I may be wrong at least I did when I used to work construction but guys that's it I want to bring to you the new pool when it's done, when it's done and, and all, all done, I will get another video then, folks. Hell, I might even go inside there and get a video. That might be a little tough if there's people swimming. But we will try something. Until next time, guys, please say a prayer for me that I'm able to get a hike tomorrow. I need it so bad. I know I had a kind of a hike. I know I, I, I need it bad, folks. I need, I need to get out there so the trees can talk to me. Yes, they talk to me. So until next time, guys, come on. Let's get out of here. We'll see you, hopefully, on our next adventure.